show. Well, thank you. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be in Eureka. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever actually been up to the north coast before here of California? I have, actually. I um, I produced a porn film called Blaze and Confused, and on part of that, uh, we took a trip up to the Humboldt area, and we played a naked tag in the Redwoods, and uh, I am a big fan of Northern California. I grew up there. I did not realize that. I, I know we're, we are home to a lot of different films, but I didn't realize that one was filmed up here. So, yep. well, well, listen, and, you know, and, and that was what your life was about for so long, that uh, you were uh, in the uh, adult entertainment business, the porn business, for uh, quite some time, uh, but have eventually uh, moved on past that. And, and that's what we, the book that I Am Jenny is kind of all about. Uh, the, the book, does it take you all the way from the beginning of uh, your introduction into that, or do we start even before that? Yeah, we, we actually start before that. We start. I, I grew up in Concord, California, and in Moraga, California, both both of which are up in the Bay Area, as I'm sure you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, and and that's really where it begins. It begins with uh, the first time I had sex at 13, and my parents divorced around there. And uh, and then, of course, the progression in the adult business, and you know, and then it goes all the way up until the point where I leave and you know start to figure out how to live like a person and not like a. Uh, <laughs> and, and and that's the book basically in a nutshell. And and I'll tell you this, it's you know, it's it is pretty graphic reading in, in parts of it there that I've had a chance so far to uh, read through. But it's very um you know, telltelling of, of what it must be like to be in this whole business. And it doesn't just, you just don't wake up one day and go, well, I'm going to make a porn film in the Redwoods in Humboldt County. I'm, uh, you know, it, it's kind of each, each step forward is just baby steps. But before you know it, you're immersed in it uh, totally. Yeah, you're you're one hundred percent right. It's it's definitely a progressive career, and uh, you know it, the, the choices that you make kind of justify the next choices that you make. Well, I've already done this, so you know this isn't that bad. And, you know, when I first started, there's no way that I would have thought I I would end up in Humboldt, running around naked, you know, smoking weed on camera and, and doing guys for a living. Um, I just wanna I just wanted to you know be in a Playboy spread, and that you know did not happen ever. Um, it it just it grows. It grows like I think like a lot like addiction, like like uh, drug use. You know, um, nude solo magazine layouts are definitely the gateway drug to harder to harder for me. Mm-hmm. So, uh, would you point that as the one main thing that uh, maybe was the catalyst for uh, the career that you had for you know quite some time as Penny Flame, or 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 is it a c- accumulation of a number of items? Yeah, it, it's definitely accumulation a number of different things. I mean the. Emotional validation, sexual validation. Um, it, it didn't hurt that it paid for my bags of weed and you know and, and my cocktails, uh, but it, it it's a whole plethora, it's a whole treasure chest of, of reasons that kept me in the adult business. And then and then it was you know a lot a lot of fear kept me there. You know once I was in, it was like okay, well I've I've, I've decided all the reasons to get in. And now it's fear of leaving, fear of failure, fear of this. Fear. It's a lot of fears that kept me going, and uh, and that and that uh, you know ended up with me in it for eight years. So you were in it for eight years, and uh, were you still in it at the time you joined on to the cast of VH1's Sex Rehab with Dr. Drew? Uh, yeah, I actually joined on to the cast of Sex Rehab uh, to to help my career. I thought I thought that if I could get a, on a national platform like Sex Rehab. Uh, it would really boost my sales in the webcam business that I was I was running at the time. I was managing a studio, and um, you know, the absolute opposite happened. Thank thankfully, everything fell apart. The studio, the you know, uh, my plans, uh, myself, my my emotional state of being, it all just crumbled. And uh, you know, I was really able to, with with the help of Drew and Jill Vermeer and, and uh, my mentor, Dr. Reese. I was able to pick up those pieces and kind of put them back together in a, in a new and different and uh, healthier way. So you went into the show with Dr. Drew that you're going to be on reality TV and, and just going to continue on in, in, in the path that you're on. But uh, with Dr. Drew, and they're insisting that you go by not just Penny Flame, but use your real name of Jeannie Ketchum, and and uh, they started actually helping you. So uh, a reality show that actually had maybe a great outcome, huh? Yeah, I mean, when they when they refused to call me Penny and would only call me Jenny or Jennifer, um, it, it really threw me for a loop because you know it's like you're when you're 26 years old and you don't know your name, you know, there's a problem. It's like puppies learn their name within the first year. You know, it's like 26 years and I didn't I didn't know who they were talking to. That's, that says some, it says something about me. And uh, you know, it, 
they really helped um, they helped me build an identity that wasn't based on sex and it was just I mean the experience um, you know a lot of people have a lot of bad things to say about reality TV and I and I agree with a lot of it um, a lot of it is just a, a you know a, an SH you know star TV mm-hmm. show but uh, but Dr. Drew absolutely changed my life and uh, you know he really he gave me the foundation that I needed, that I didn't even know I needed to be a, a woman of grace and integrity, and I'm, I'm eternally grateful to him and, and what he has helped me achieve. And all that's in this book, I Am Jenny. And, and these days, uh, you, where are you at in life right now? Are you in a relationship? Are, are, are you comfortable with yourself? I am in a relationship, a monogamous relationship. As of, I remember we're going on like two and a half years. Uh, we're doing the whole like be honest with each other thing, which is new and awesome. And um, and as far as being comfortable with myself, you know, I, th- I think maybe tomorrow will be the day that I'm like 100% comfortable with myself. But for today, I I am aware of when I'm uncomfortable, and that's that's the biggest step for me is is acknowledging that you know I have feelings that they're gonna pass, that it's gonna be okay, and not trying to numb all of them out, you know, with drugs or sex or whatever I can get my hands on. Well, let me ask you real quick, and then we'll wrap things up. Intimacy with this uh, person that you're in the relationship with for two and a half years. Has it been easy? Do you have intimacy uh, with this person? Oh, my gosh. You know, for a woman who has been naked in front of a lot of people, I mean, I've, I've taught classes naked, you know, so like rooms full of 100 people and just butt naked, no problem. You know, I have never felt so naked as, as I do uh, being intimate with this man. I mean, just our conversations. Um, just yesterday, you know, he was saying that, so you're obviously feeling overwhelmed, and I was like, yeah, I'm fine. So you look overwhelmed, and you're doing the whole emotional shutdown thing. What are you going to do when you, you know, when you feel overwhelmed? And I said, shut down and punch the dog in the face. And he said, no, you're going to ask for help. And so, I mean, that kind of stuff is like, it's hard for me. And um, and, and thankfully, I have a man in my life who who knows everything about me and who is supportive and and just a kind and caring and compassionate man. And there's you know, um, the whole intimacy thing is new and it's and it's scary and it's incredible and it's beautiful and it's everything that um, I didn't think that I could have. And I'm very blessed to be able to experience that with someone. Well, Jenny, I'm glad to hear that for you. I'm uh, excited that uh, that life is going this direction. And, you know, for all of us, it's life is just a work in progress nonstop. We've got to wrap things up. You've got more to do. If you ever come up this way, uh, stop by and let's say hi. I look forward to reading the book. It's I Am Jenny, and congratulations on the uh, path your life has taken. Thanks, Bob, Rowan. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye.